Hey everyone, it's been a while. It's Michael here again, back with you guys to do a quick tutorial on how to use Uniswap. Uh, Uniswap is a decentralized exchange on the Ethereum network and it's gained uh, a lot of attention over the past, I would say six months, uh, trading decentralized finance tokens in the altcoin market. And as you can see, the volume has exploded over time. So I think it's, uh, it's you know, one of those things where I think I should explain it, that way you guys know how to use it. So. We're going to go to uniswap.org. This is their main website page. And once we want to use the platform, we just hit use Uniswap and it's going to take us to the Uniswap interface. Pretty simple interface, guys. It's just a swap platform. So it defaults to Ethereum. Uh, you won't see your balance right away if you haven't already connected your MetaMask account. So what you're going to want to do when you get to this page is it's going to ask you to connect to your MetaMask wallet. Once you sign in and do so, it'll show your Ethereum balance. Uh, so for an example today, guys, I'm going to try and buy a token that hasn't been listed automatically on the Uniswap platform. That way you can guys can kind of see how to make sure that you add the right contract address and you're buying the right token. So today as an example, we're going to buy the yield token. It's a new decentralized finance token. As you can see here on Etherscan, I'm on the contract page and it gives me the contract address. So this is the contract address. I know because I verified it. This is the right Contract, I'm gonna go back to Uniswap. I'm gonna hit select a token and I'm gonna paste the contract in here and it's gonna show me the token. I'm gonna to click on this. Now I have yield at the bottom here, which is the token that I wanna buy and Ethereum, the token that I have that I wanna buy with. So I'm gonna to choose to purchase a thousand yield right now. And basically what I'm gonna to wanna to do before I actually make the swap is go into the settings here to make sure that I you know, have everything set the way I want to. So this section basically shows the slippage tolerance and the transaction deadline. So like what slippage tolerance? Basically it's your transaction will revert if the price changes unfavorably by more than uh, this percentage that's listed. So if your transaction is basically being processed and there's a lot of volume on the network and the price slips you know, too much in either direction by a certain percentage, it'll cancel the transaction. Um, basically what this does is it, you know, it stops you from either being, you know, purchasing too much more than you wanted to, or, you know, too much less than you wanted to sell for. Um, basically there's a lot of bots that front run transactions on the network. So the higher your slippage tolerance is, the more chance you have of being front run by a bot that basically is gonna just purchase before you which increases your purchase price or sell before you, which decreases your sell price, right? So you kind of always want to make sure that your slippage tolerance is low unless you're trying to, you know, buy something super fast, right? So for the basics, um, for basic users, I would keep your slippage tolerance at a minimum. That way you're never purchasing something for more than you want to. Um, as for the transaction deadline, basically this is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. It'll revert your transaction if you're waiting, you know, more than this set amount of time. I usually keep this at two minutes. Um, if my transaction doesn't go through in two minutes, I don't want to be sitting here for 20 waiting for it to go through. So that's just, you know, my default setting. And now that we've gone through that little section there, we can swap for yield tokens from Ethereum. So it's just going to ask you here to confirm, tells you the price, price impact on the network, the liquidity provider fee. Um, we'll discuss that in a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit confirm swap. And now this brings up your MetaMask just to confirm the transaction. And if there's one thing that I do not like about Uniswap and it's unfortunate is the transaction fees right now are just absolutely insane. Um, as the network has grown, the transaction fees have exploded. Um, so essentially, you know, back when I was using Uniswap and I would say July, I was paying in between two to $10 per transaction in a fee. Now it's been like, it's been crazy. It can be anywhere from $8 to upwards of $50, $55 to get your transaction, you know, through in decent time. So, you know, usually what I'll do is I'll just hit average because I don't feel like paying fast. The, the prices, like I said, are getting crazy. So just know before you start, uni uh, start using Uniswap that the transaction fees are much, much higher than they would be on a centralized exchange. So that would be the con. Pros, you know, no KYC. You can do all your transactions anonymously. Um, and obviously there's a huge benefits to using a DEX uh, at the same time, right? So I just wanted to basically lay out both sides of the, uh, the situation there. So we're gonna actually make the purchase now. So I hit average for the transaction fees, hit save, hit confirm. And now it's gonna submit my transaction. And basically all I'm gonna do now is wait until it goes through.
Um, if you want to choose to you to watch it, you can hit view on EtherScan and it'll bring up your transaction. Uh, but for now, we're just going to wait uh, for this to go through. And as you can see, it just confirmed my transaction. I swapped 0.163 Ethereum for a thousand yield. And as you can see now in my wallet, I have a thousand yield. If I wanted to sell this a thousand yield now that I've had it, let's say the price goes up, you know, 20, 30 cents and I want to take profits. All I would do is just select this arrow to switch places. And now I want to sell a thousand yield for my Ethereum. I approve the yield on my MetaMask account and then I would hit swap back to sell. And that is pretty much it guys when it comes to using the Uniswap platform. It's super easy to use. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys, you know, had some ideas on, uh, on how to do this. Um, there's a couple other sections here that we can go over real quick. Uh, one is the pool section. So this is where you can actually, um, once you have, let's say a thousand yield and 0.6 Ethereum, you can actually submit your yield and Ethereum to the yield network to earn fees. So you're basically adding liquidity to their network. And every time there's a transaction done on that network, you get uh, a portion of the fees that are generated uh, through each transaction. So that's a little bit more advanced, um, but there are a lot of people who basically do this to earn fees over time, right? So this, uh, this section is a little bit more advanced. I wanna kinda of stay away from it today, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on how to do that. Um, if you go to charts here, this will basically give you an infographic section of each individual token, uh, the overall volume on Uniswap right now, a 24 hour volume, and basically like a breakdown of like, you know, the most traded tokens on the market right now. So if I just, you know, copy and paste my contract again from the yield network, it'll show the token. I can go in here and I can see the total liquidity on the platform right now, how much volume there is in the last 24 hours, 24 hour transaction volume, basically just a quick rundown of the price action. If I wanted to go a step further than that, there are some third party um, add-ons, websites that you can use that will track um, live trading on Uniswap. So since this isn't a centralized exchange, there isn't really a dedicated section for um, live trading and live volume. So there's two platforms. One is dextools.io and the other one is astrotools.io. They both do the exact same thing. But what you would do is you would just go back to the yield network, make sure you're on the right contract address, copy it again, go back to Astro Tools and type in paste. Okay, type in paste and there you go. The yield token will pop up. It'll generate the token for you and you can watch you know, a live chart of what's been going on on the network you know, over the past you know, day, two days, three days, right? And that way you can kind of see, you know, what's the liquidity on the token? Is there a lot of people trading it? Uh, does it have lots of liquidity for me to, you know, buy and sell with? Um, if it does, and it's something that I probably want to get into, right? So um, you, you kind of have to watch with tokens that are A, new, and B, have low liquidity. Because the lower the liquidity amount, uh, the more percentage change each transaction will do, right? So if you wanted to buy a large amount of a certain token, if it has a low level of liquidity, uh, each buy or sell is going to basically drastically um, change the market in either direction. So I try and stay away from tokens that have super low liquidity and uh, trade things with higher amounts, right? That way, you know, my, my big buys and sells don't affect the market in either direction. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. So we've discussed how to swap on the platform. We went through the pool section. We've gone through uh, the charts. And those are pretty much the main things you're gonna to need to see guys using this platform for the first time, just the basics. Um, we've discussed the settings section, slippage tolerance, transaction deadline, and we've discussed you know integrating your MetaMask into the account itself to do the transaction, um, as well as third-party providers and how to verify each individual contract uh, on the Etherscan um, contract area. So I think that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Um, if you like the content that you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps grow the channel and I appreciate it a lot. Uh, if you guys have any comments on the video today, don't forget to put them down below. Any questions, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.